Going in, I think G2 is always a favorite. I think Evil Geniuses are always a favorite. But I mean, conventional wisdom for this event has just been thrown out the window. There's been a surprising amount of new teams that have really stepped up. Empires looked great, Nora Rango's looked great. Reciprocity looks like they could challenge. Immortals looked good too. So, I mean, man, it was, it's one of the first events where it's like, I genuinely don't know what's gonna happen. Will he win the fight against Corey? He will. Two to five, he's gonna find one, and he's gonna find two! Liquid to the main stage, ladies and gentlemen. Stage, if you wanna go, you gotta hurry. Goga takes out Rampy. Bosco's gonna have to go in! What a shot! 1v1 against Laxing, and Laxing on top! Reciprocity eliminate evil geniuses! So how do you feel about EG being knocked out so early? Well, uh... I don't know what happened there, but it would have been really fun to see them play against us uh, on the semifinals. It's shocking that they got eliminated in the quarters, but I mean, Reciprocity plays this really frustratingly aggressive, unpredictable, disconnected style of play that not only has EG struggled with in the past, but they struggled with just a couple weeks ago in Pro League, and the only team that beat EG in Pro League was Reciprocity, and it was because I think Reciprocity's playstyle matches up very effectively against Evil Geniuses. And there you go. Sky just walks right in, takes out Necrox, looks for another mark, a great C4, and Reciprocity have victory in their, oh! in their grasps. As every entry in will be stopped in first place, it's Reciprocity. With us going into EG, we're very confident playing against EG. It's nice playing against your region in these big events because you play against it all the time. So it's easy to know what all those five players do. It's a lot easier to predict things, rotations, takes, anything like that. And personally, with EG, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're a phenomenal team. Each five of those players deserve to be where they're at today and have. Um, we're definitely EG's hard counter as a team. There's always that one team that, you know, is your biggest, like, challenge, whether some teams are just better, some teams are just worse. There's always going to be one team that's always going to like adapt to your play style specifically. And I mean, from what I heard from other teams, EG said they didn't want to play us because they don't like our play style. And we're their kryptonite. Um, and, you know, we came out on top. Like I said, it was a close game. So I don't want to take anything like that. Yeah, we just swept EG or anything like that. It was, a, it was a close game. It could have went either way. But ultimately, we came out on top and it was something that we were very confident in doing. There's a lot of other teams out there besides the two or three that have been getting all the, I mean, I guess you could say viewership in the last uh, two, three years. And uh, I think we showed that, you know, we're a team to compete against. And I think a lot of other teams, you know, Norrengo, Fnatic, SSG, have also shown that there are teams out there besides the top three that can very well rival the top three. I mean, at some point, APAC was gonna catch up to the rest of the regions. They've only been in it for about a year and a bit now. There's obviously geographical issues in terms of them being too far removed, not being able to play other teams a lot. I mean, Nora Rengo has just proven to be such a strong team. So as Fnatic, I think Mantis surprised a lot of people as well, coming over from Korea. That region has a lot of room for growth and they're gonna be real scary in a couple months. They're already scary now, but imagine how much better they're gonna get as they get more competitions under their belt yeah, I think they're going to start challenging for championships pretty soon now. It was like 0% of experts um, thought that we were going to come out of groups first seed, and about 7% thought we were going to come out seven, uh, second seed. Um, yeah, but we just blew them away, uh, B-Phase, Reciprocity, came out of groups first. Um, unfortunately, we just didn't have a good day against Norango. Um, but bittersweet in a way that we're frustrated that we lost. However, like an APAC team made it into top four, which is like super cool. You guys got knocked out by your buddy. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it hurts, but it's, it's good for the region anyway, so we don't mind at all. Let's go back to the beginning and tell me what were your expectations coming into the tournament? I think on uh, number one, because in, uh, last year in the, in the blood year, and uh, well, uh, we will be uh, best of all. So this competition, uh, we will become uh, number one, I think. But lose, sorry. Taking out Walker now on the diffuser. Empire! The Russian machine to the grand finals. So you guys performed amazing at this tournament. A lot of people didn't know what to expect from the team. So 
How do you feel the team performed during the tournament? I'm proud of my boys. Mm. Very proud? Very, very proud. Your team and you have won the hearts of everyone watching really? this yeah. event. Yes, it's, you guys are so positive, energetic. Why is that important to you to have that kind of personality and environment for the team? Mm, because I'm the, my member include me. All members and uh, mm -hmm. foolish, 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 and uh, baka <laughs> Foolish. Yeah. I know what baka means. Baka, you know, I you know, know baka is yes. baka boys. Baka boys. Yes, we are baka boys. Yeah. The team impressed a lot of people, and now APAC is a region. Everyone's looking at the region being like, wow, there's a lot of talent. Well, how do you feel about now that you've done well, and everyone's looking at the region like that? I'm so happy. Mm. Just uh, simple. I'm so happy and exciting. Because in uh, APAC region is uh, world and the people sing and the weak. But APAC region is uh, very strong. I prove APAC region is a strong one. As a whole, just to see um, like APAC get so much more respect from the other teams, uh, we definitely won't be looked down upon um, anymore into future comps, even though like in a way we sort of want to be looked down so they don't study us as much. Um, and just like, we love being underdogs anyway, but um, yeah, it's just really cool to see how far we've come and how much more respect uh, that we've gained from like the players and even the fans watching at home. Do you feel like there's like regional differences in how you guys play compared to EU, NA, and so what makes it, what's your strength as a region? Um, definitely, especially with the Asian teams, um, aim, like their mechanical aim is just insane, like these guys do not miss. Um, a big part of why we lost to Norango is just how good their aim is, but I think also APAC region plays very fluid and very uh, dynamic, whereas some regions like NA and EU, they play very uh, structured um, and just like rigid, but I think yeah, we're a lot more dynamic and especially aggressive sometimes. Last question I have to ask. You know, during the game, you guys do a lot of motion. Uh -huh. And can you teach me what? What's what's something that you guys do? I want to learn how you guys do it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. Okay. Did you get that? Ready? One more time. Oh. Together. One. <laughs> the Russians beating up the Japanese. Both teams, though. The first shot in Norway, though, may not be making it all the way, but they certainly made it much farther than they had before. And I got to imagine getting so many fans at this tournament. What would it mean if you guys were to take home this title as well? What it means? That's a hard one. Like, it's, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. And we probably in the team don't, we don't appreciate it enough that because we are defending champions. So, yes, again, like I said, I'm not expecting us to win, but other guys in the team might, might expect it a little bit more. G2's already won basically everything there is to win, right? There's no there is no Intel Grand Slam like we see with CSGO. You know, we don't have the worlds where you have to continuously compete against your regions and work up, same that you see with League of Legends. For this event in particular, back-to-back -back champions of the Invitational, number one, they're going to be a lot richer given the size <laughs> of the prize pool. That team's going to want to win every single event. But I think most teams are kidding themselves if they think that the Invitational is not the crown jewel. It is. Every team wants to win this. This is your focus. Winning the major is great and all. There's going to be pressure there, and G2 is going to want to win it as well. But I think this team is playing almost perfect siege at the moment, and it shows. He's going to instead force his way into B. He could still get this plant down, but the Yokai drone is probably going to have something else to say about that. Is it's coming up on him right now. Only three seconds left, and it might be bad timing for Fabian, but it also might be the clutch as now Redeemer is stuck in the plant, and he's gonna get eliminated. What a clutch! Yeah, five of the best players that do their role. Um, but uh, just, even you are saying how strong they are, I think um, everyone has sort of caught up now. They almost lost to SSG, they almost lost to Mantis. Like, these guys are definitely beatable, but I think one of their strong suits is how well they do under pressure. Like, to come into this tournament and just be expected to win and still perform, or go in over time and still like win these matches. Like I just think it takes so much uh, mental fortitude to like go through that. Level of competition has been the like highest skill level that in a tournament that we've ever been in. It, like the competitive scene has grown so much in a year that it, it's insane. Like 
you've probably seen the matches that have been, been going on that they go th three maps pretty much consistently. I, it's crazy. It doesn't matter. G2 is there. Rampy the impactless frag. He's upset. But G2 look to repeat and they punch a ticket to the semi-finals. If only there were a couple more seconds. Me personally entering these tournaments, it's always uh, like I'm wondering how far we will go this time. So I'm not, I don't personally say that we are the favorites to go to the finals. I'm always going one game by at, at the time. Is that a mentality the whole team has or just you? Mostly me. We are a really critical team to ourselves and that's one of our weaknesses that we criticize ourselves for like really minor things that are not actually the problem that we are having and then it turns to negative and stuff like this but that that keeps you going because you still think that you have the like slight thing that you can improve and go forward all the time it, at this point i'm pretty sure every team if g2 wins it's like all right well it's another event that g2 is going to win another another uh giant prize pool that they're going to claim it's, it's just going to be the norm at this point if g2 wins people were kind of like, you know what? I hope G2 don't win. They yeah. win so much. So what would you say to those people now? I mean, everybody, every, every community, every fan, or like every movie needs a villain, right? And G2, we were the heroes once, once upon a time when we first came around. And now because we've been around for so long, we're the enemies, right? We're the bad guys. And while we do have fans, we also have people that want to see us lose and most importantly, see other people win. And Empire got really close to that. The first map playing 22 rounds, EG has been really close to it before. And of course, Liquid, the only team to beat us ever in a big stage. Um, so for now, we'll stay the villains, but maybe one day we'll be the heroes again once we start losing. They came here as champions. They came here as legends. They leave here as champions. They leave here as legends. Will they ever be beaten with the hammer, with the turtle? Never be forgotten. G2!